A partnership between Australia and Indonesia is helping around a million people who depend on the cocoa industry on the island of Sulawesi. The industry has reached a crisis with ageing trees, pests, diseases and falling soil fertility. The Australian funded smallholder agribusiness development initiative is building partnerships to overcome these problems and build a sustainable industry. And they're very excited because of the potential to improve money in their pocket. Uh, well, prices of cocoa are quite high now. So the farmers see the potential to improve their income, but they're being held back because of poor planting material, and they're being held back because uh, of the lack of simple management practices that can limit the impact of pests and diseases. Some of the, farm, the problems can be solved by the farmers themselves, but many cannot. So farmers need help. So here, cocoa is a good example where we can demonstrate the need for collaboration between Indonesian institutions and, and Australian institutions, uh, between farmers and the traders, uh, the exporters, ex uh, and, and, and the industry in general. The research teams that we're funding from La Trobe University, Sydney University and major research agencies in Indonesia are focusing on uh, new varieties that are resistant to these uh, insects but also to major fungal diseases in cocoa plantations. Mars Corporation, which purchases 16% of Indonesia's cocoa, is an important partner. The company employs field staff and is promoting farm-based businesses to support the industry. You need to develop, adapt the technology that provides the solutions, get the solutions into the hands of the people that, that, that need them, and then empower them and change the environment so that they're able to employ those solutions to create long-term sustainable solutions. You know that the cocoa is very important for us because uh, um, the, the market is very good and also the, uh, the price is very good. Now they, they usually come here and see what, what happened in here and they, they change their mind to, to do replanting, you know. <laughs> The cocoa revival is exemplified by the fourfold increase in the number of students studying cocoa production at the local vocational school for agriculture. Students are working closely with extension staff and have produced almost 12,000 trees, superior genotypes for wider distribution. I think it's got a better future. If, uh, and I says, can you explain why? He said, I think it's, there's more guaranteed uh, employment in uh, agriculture in the future than in, in other uh, vocations. By 10 years we ought to have cocoa farmers that have high productivity at least one and a half to two tonnes per hectare. The, the farmers should be, uh, have, have be running a business and really understand they're running a business and they should be managing the foundations of their business, the soil, the trees, uh, the cocoa trees in particular, in a sustainable way using farmer-based enterprises as the source of the inputs. They can build the new house, they can buy a motor car, <laughs> motorcycle and, and, and etc. The people will be, the welfare will be, will be, will be satisfied.